it's Megan. As always, I hope all of you are doing well. Today is going to be a fun video. It's going to be my Louis Vuitton newest release, Dream Bags Luxury Mega Unboxing Haul. You know, gotta say, Mr. Sunshine is really my friend, but he can be friendly at certain times of the day. And right now, he's being a little bit too friendly because he's putting rays into the room. Hopefully, it doesn't bother you guys. It doesn't bother me. But yes, I'm excited about this video. Before we get into it, I want to say, my last video, I let you guys know of something that happened within my life and I just want to really say thank you from the bottom of my heart because really I was not looking for sympathy in any way and I didn't expect that reaction from you guys and those comments just really filled my heart and let me tell you I will never forget that so please know that sometimes in life when you just leave a nice comment to somebody it can really really mean a lot to them again you guys thank you from the bottom of my heart I really didn't expect that so you want to point out to you guys very 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 quickly this Gucci bucket hat I love it I think it's so so cute love it so very much in fact that I do have the black one on my wish list so hopefully I'll be getting it soon so if any of you guys are interested in this hat it is linked within the description box below literally right before I decided to film this video today I thought to myself what if I decided to ask you guys a question on something trending within the luxury community and as you guys can see I do have YSL bags behind me and as a lot of you guys know YSL did recently have a price increase my question to you is this what do you think of that price increase and do you think that these YSL bags are still worth it my personal opinion is it was an astronomical price increase I could not believe that the small Lulu that you guys see right here as well as the medium envelope as well as the small puffer all puffer bags they all went up hundreds of dollars, like three to four hundred dollars. Some bags I saw an increase of six hundred and fifty dollars. So as a luxury lover, I would love to know what you guys think about this price increase. If you think the bags are still worth it and if you'll continue buying, I just love to know your general opinion on this YSL increase. I think we all love unboxings. I'll continue to do them, but I do want to implement more helpful videos for you guys when choosing a bag because really, Luxury bags are a huge investment and I know sometimes when I'm interested in a bag, I like watching other videos. So I want to be able to do that for you guys. So if you guys are interested in luxury just as much as me or maybe even more, please do consider joining my luxury community by clicking on that subscribe button you see located right down there below on your screen. Also, you guys, clicking that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So let's do this. Yay, I'm so excited because I tell you guys this all the time, I always need to unbox my items with you before actually using them. That's just my little rule. So do you guys have any idea what's in this box? I'll just say, yeah, like the title states, it is a new release item. And the other one, of course, is a new release item. Here we have the dust bag. This truly is my dream bag. If I could have written into Louis Vuitton, drawn up this bag, this would have been it. And I really can't say enough about it. But I will say this. I would not suggest this bag as an entry-level Louis Vuitton bag. I would suggest it for somebody that has an established collection with luxury and just somebody that wants to add to their collection. So let me go ahead and show you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm very excited. I can't even tell you guys and I cannot wait to use it and I'm going to be using it next weekend and you guys will understand why. <laughs> Let me go ahead and show you. Are you ready? Eek! I am so excited. This beautiful, okay that's enough. <laughs> I'm showing too much. I'm very excited as you guys can tell. But this beautiful newly released from the new ski collection. No way, BB. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot say enough. Did you guys hear? Ugg did a collaboration with Louis Vuitton, and this is one of their bags. Didn't it turn out so beautifully? Just kidding, of course. But really, doesn't it look like Ugg did a collaboration with Louis Vuitton? There's really just something about the fur in the snow. Like if you happen to have a jacket that has the fur over the top, it's just very, very cute. Yes, my husband concurs with that and always has. Now we all have to admit, when we go to the snow, fur can be very, very cute. We can think of a snow bunny and bunnies have fur. By the way, I do have a bunny. <laughs> but yes, you guys, I just really love this for the snow. I love snowboarding. I go on snowboarding trips.
And then after I'm done snowboarding, I love to go out to dinner. And when I saw this bag, I thought to myself, yes, you know, I would love to take this bag with me out to dinner. Now it does come with a strap. I was very happy with the strap, gotta tell you, because it does have two settings. I have a very strong feeling that I am going to be wearing this bag most of the time, tote style. And yes, I love the fact that it does have the vachetta underneath, so I can just put my hand underneath and not touch the fur and get it dirty. As long as I watch over this bag, the fur will be fine. It's not gonna get dirty unless I get it dirty. Watch me say that and it gets dirty. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, let me go ahead and show you what this looks like. I think it's absolutely adorable, so very cute. Cute. I can't say enough. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm just imagining wearing this in the mountains, which I'm going to next weekend for my husband's birthday. Yay. And it already started snowing there, you guys, in the Sierras. My family has a cabin up in a place called Pinecrest, California. Now the inside of this bag is a microfiber material, extremely soft on the hands. There is an inner pocket right here, very, very roomy. And another thing I wanna point out about this bag that's very important to point out about this bag, the canvas. The only other bag that I have with this soft, soft canvas is my Carry All PM. This bag is just squishy, squish, squish, squishy. And I think you guys would love that as well. So you guys can imagine when I unboxed this bag, I was already so very impressed, but when I felt it, I thought to myself, oh my gosh, could you be any better? No, you couldn't. Actually it could <laughs> because this bag was made in Italy. And as a lot of you guys know, my daddy passed away. He was Italian. So whenever a bag is made in Italy, it makes it that much more special. I actually prefer Italy more than France. I know a lot of you guys follow me on Instagram and I appreciate it very, very much. But for any of you guys that don't, please do. I love to share my adventures with my bag. So you guys, I am very, very excited that I can now say I have this Noe BB added to my collection. And as you guys can imagine, I'm very, very happy to say I get to use this bag because I unboxed it with you. So yay and on to the next bag. And when I think about it, it's so opposite of this one, which is a good thing because I like diversity within my collection. So let's go ahead and get into that unboxing, which is right here. It comes in this Louis Vuitton box. The presentation of this bag, absolutely amazing. I got it from a sales associate over in New York. He gave me a catalog for fume samples, a shopper tote without even asking. Absolutely wonderful. So let me go ahead and show you guys, I'm going to give you a little bit of a hint. I rave about another bag all the time. I say it's one of my favorite bags. I'll give you another hint. So this is from the same collection. It's from the new Louis Vuitton ski collection and it is this size. And one more hint, this bag does exist within the Louis Vuitton fashion house in the canvas version. Are you guys ready? I definitely am because I'm thinking to myself, yay, I'm unboxing it with you guys because I'm thinking about next weekend in the mountains. So here she is, this beautiful, I think she's shy. She doesn't know if you guys are gonna like her. <laughs> this beautiful, oh, it's so pretty. Gorgeous Louis Vuitton Palm Springs Mini Ski Collection. And let me tell you guys, huffer, but this is the problem. I cannot allow you guys to feel this thing. That is where the luxury is in this bag because I knew it was of a nylon material. The YSL puffer is made of a leather material and I thought to myself, nylon, how great can it be? But you guys, if you felt this thing, you would understand what I'm talking about. It feels much more luxurious than my puffer. I cannot even explain. I could literally feel this thing all day long, but let me go ahead and get into the details. Yes, it has the big LV on the front right there. And then on the back, it has the big LV. On the sides, it has the icons. I just can't, it's just too cute. And I love the monogram trimmings on this bag. This top handle, you guys, when you look at it, it just seems like it would be a pillowy type of deal, but it's actually, if you can believe, a semi-structured pillowy material. I'm calling it pillowy. I don't know what else to call it, but you guys know what I mean. It does seem like a pillow. <laughs> but the inside, oh my gosh, I was already impressed enough by the exterior of this bag. It does have a very smooth zipper. Are you ready? How beautiful is 
this so very gorgeous i love it i love the monogram inside and you guys can see louis vuitton made in italy and again makes me think of my daddy and makes this bag so much more special so it does have a little pocket right there and as you guys know i think you're familiar with the palm strings mini it does have a little pocket right there I do want to mention, I have the, like I said, I rave about it all the time, the monogram version. And you know what? I love using this in the summer. For example, at the beach. I'm always using this bag, you guys, in the summer months because it's so very carefree. Now, I have to mention this too. The Noe BB is definitely going to be a winter bag solely. But with this bag, I do find it to be seasonal. Wearing a white tee or tank top with denim shorts and some white sneakers, something like that. I think it would be absolutely adorable. So it's kind of like the YSL puffer. It can be very versatile if you want it to be. It can be a seasonal bag. But yeah, that Noe BB is definitely, I'll go ahead and show you guys one more time. I think you agree. It's for winter, not for summer, <laughs> not for hot times. No, I can't even imagine. So yeah, you guys, I love this bag so very much. And if I want to mention, oh my goodness, how could I forget these beautiful, are you ready? The straps that come with this bag are absolutely beautiful because they are monogram as you guys can see so when i tried this bag on backpack style it was absolutely adorable also i'll love to use this bag cross body but i do think i'll be using it mostly backpack style with the palm springs mini at first i really wasn't a fan of the backpack style because i thought the straps were too long however when i adjusted them to the right length where they're long but not too long i absolutely fell in love i really wish that i could be able to let you guys feel this bag because that is where the luxury is and really when i think about a bag this small and the price tag that comes with it it's really nice when i feel it and it's just so amazing as a matter of fact i want to feel it compared to my puffer now the puffer is very very nice don't get me wrong let's see if we can compare the two together it's very very different the puffer is going to be a leather but this one is a nylon but you guys feeling it this one definitely feels more luxurious. So I'm in love with it, you guys. Let me go ahead and put this puffer back. I love this. I actually want to get this in black and gold. Very versatile piece. A lot of people think that the YSL toy puffer is solely to be worn cross body. Not the case. It can definitely be worn over the shoulder at any length that you'd like. And I've explained that in other videos, but I will do a more in-depth review on that toy puffer very, very soon. So you guys, yay. This beautiful Palm Strings Mini has been added to my collection. I am very happy to say that. And let me tell you guys this, I'm so dedicated to, you know, unboxing with you guys before I use something. I was such a good girl that when I went to Hawaii, I wanted to use this, but I didn't. <laughs> I brought alternatives because I wanted to unbox and I didn't want to use it and say that it was brand new out of the box. I did purchase these at Nordstrom and they came like this. These are the beautiful Gucci Marmont. It's kind of a nude type of color, neutral with a little bit of a pinkish tone. Beautiful. And why am I seeing made in Italy everywhere today? That is a good thing. But yes, I bought these because I actually have them in the black. Love them. They're so comfortable. Now these shoes, I'll go ahead and show you. Very beautiful on the back. It shows the Gucci. It does have the beautiful Gucci Marmont logo right there. You guys, these are very complimentary to the feet. I have to tell you, they make your toes look really, really cute. And I know they're very comfortable because like I said, I do own them in the black pair. It's really the combination of the beautiful look of this shoe and the comfort. Comfort to me is very important and these ones are very very comfortable so i highly recommend them they are linked within the description box below let me get to the last item that i want to unbox for you guys again from gucci i'm excited about this one i don't know about you guys but i keep my boxes and yeah they take up a lot of room so thankfully i have a lot of extra storage and closets let's go ahead and see what's inside here inside the tissue dust bag right here and like i said if you guys can remember from the beginning of this video this is something that was on my wish list and it was obtained i did get this bucket hat in the black because I love it so very much. 
let me go ahead try this on okay you guys i'm loving this hat i know it's the same one as this one but like i said i love it very very much i justified it because really the canvas is so very different than the black i find the black to be very very different and will go with outfits in a very very different way luxury accessories can make a big difference to casual outfits so i'm loving this hat you guys i'm so happy that i now have it i highly recommend these bucket hats you guys i link them within the description box below now let me go ahead and change back <laughs> into my other bucket hat it's just so cute you guys i really love this i can't even tell you so perfect for winter time glad to have it added to my collection and yeah I can't wait to use it so that's gonna be you guys I'm in a very good mood I must say since I unbox those items with you very very good mood I must admit so yes that'll be it for this Louis Vuitton new dream bags luxury mega massive unboxing haul if you guys happen to have any comments or questions on any of the items that I went over again they are linked within the description box below please do leave those. And also remember that question I asked you in the beginning about the YSL price increase. I'd love to know your thoughts on that. I'd love to know if you feel that the price increase is a deterrent from buying or if you think that YSL is just worth it and it doesn't really make a difference to you. Love to know your opinions. So please do leave those in the comment section below. I'll say it again because I absolutely mean it with all of my heart. I love hearing from you guys. As a lot of you guys know, towards the end of my videos, I completely transition topics from speaking about luxury to speaking about something that's definitely more insightful, meaningful, and inspirational. And today I'd like to go over a topic that just came to mind as I was about to film this video. And I titled it, running your own race. There's a verse in the Bible that comes to mind quite often, and maybe that's the reason why I thought of this subject. It's 2 Timothy 4, 7, 8. I do believe, but I will correct that if I am wrong. It is where St. Paul is towards the end of his life, and he says, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. To finish your course in victory means to live a very good life. And what does it mean to live a good life? It means to work on ourselves on a constant basis because none of us will ever be perfect ever 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 only god is perfect but we can always work on improving ourselves to get to a level that god is very proud of and i think that should be the main goal for all of us really to make god proud we should not be in the same place when it comes to certain things like giving forgiving not having so much anger in your heart having a kind spirit, being more empathetic towards others, being more sympathetic to your own needs, having self-care, all of these things, we really should not be in the same place in six months, one year, five years, 10 years, 20 years plus down the road, not even tomorrow <laughs> than we are today. And when we're better people, less judgmental, more kind towards others, we're just happier in general. And a lot of people ask me, how do I keep such a positive mindset? I have been through a lot in my life, I must say. Well, it is keeping the faith. It's running my own course. And one thing that's very important with running your own race is to never compare yourself to other people. Say for example, you're on social media and you see somebody and you just think they're better than you in some way and it makes you feel not so good in your spirit. That's something you definitely want to avoid because you have to realize you have something in you, you have many things in you that other people would love to have. We're all different, we're all unique. We're all stronger in certain areas, we're all weaker in different areas than other people. And we really should never be competing with others. And a great way to obtain peace and happiness in your life is to just run your own race and to never compete with other people. Never get caught up in somebody else's race. Don't go in other lanes. And when you find yourself competing with another, just recognize it, acknowledge it, and then go back into your own lane. Run your own course. And a huge part of that, again, is to evolve to be the very best version of yourself that you can be. Keeping the faith in life is huge. There are many things that can happen in our life and do happen. No one is exempt. Negative things that we have no control over, but it is up to us to realize 
that God is always in control. He is on the throne. He is with you every second of every day. He never leaves you. He loves you immensely to the point where you can never even comprehend his love for you. The reason I know this, I've done a lot of research on near-death experiences. Yes, they have a very deep spirit. But yes, what people experience in the afterlife is quite intense when it comes to the love of God. So knowing that God is always on your side, knowing that God is always fighting your battles. When people come against you in this life, it happens to all of us, the very best thing you can do is to give it to God because he says within the Bible, I will be your vindicator, I will be your lawyer, I will plead your case. What better lawyer to have than the creator of this entire universe? When you think about space and how God created that, I mean, it just goes on forever. Our minds cannot even comprehend that. God created that. He's your lawyer. There's no better lawyer to have. You must trust him. He's watching and he will always bring justice. It's just important for you to stay in your own lane, your own race, and not get distracted by people that come against you in this life. And to not find yourself competing with another in any way. And when you find yourself doing it, to just stop it immediately and remind yourself that that person that you're comparing yourself to does not have a perfect life. Nobody does. Everybody has a cross that they must carry. And it's so important to always remember that because Instagram, YouTube, all of that kind of stuff, it can present a world that just is not reality to people. And it can seem like it's reality, like people have this perfect life and they're just perfect in every single way and it's just not the case. And you don't want to give in to the enemy's lies and believe that. You gotta know that you have gifts, you have talents, you have things about yourself that other people look at and they say, I wish I was like that. So with running your own race, always important to remember to not compare yourself with other people and to remember that nobody has a perfect life. Everybody has a cross to carry in this life. And also with running your own race to have a very giving spirit, to evolve to be the very best version of yourself that you can be. And as you guys know, there are so many different areas of our life that we can get better on while running our race, keeping the faith. And there is no other being that you need to impress in this life except for God. He is the only one you need to impress. So life is definitely a journey. It's a journey where we run our own race. Let's choose to do it in a light-filled way where we're connected with God, close to God at all times, knowing that he's fighting our battles behind the scenes all the time, along with our angels, along with our past loved ones that are always with us. Like St. Paul said at the end of his life, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. What a beautiful thing, what a beautiful reminder to live our lives by. So that is what I have to say on the topic of running your own race. If you guys happen to have any comments or questions on the topic that I did go over and or any comments or questions for my Louis Vuitton newest dream bags, I meant that, I mean that, I'm looking at them right now. <laughs> Luxury mega massive unboxing haul. Please do leave any comments or questions within the comment section below. I say it again, you guys. I mean it, I mean it, I mean it. I absolutely love hearing from you. So if you did make it to the end of this video, I greatly thank you. I am very excited about my next. Until then, you guys take care and I look forward to seeing you very, very soon. Bye.